the good news for you is that when it comes to the prime ministerial stakes it's very clear that narendra modi is still seen by a large number of people as the best suited to be the prime minister am i to then see this as what was famously once called as the tina factor there is no alternative it is mr modi who is still seen as by far the most visible leadership face see tina factor is a negative factor that i don't like you but there's no alternative this is not a tina factor somebody who has got an approval of 50% of people mm -hmm. cannot be called a tina factor i mean there is a positive approval of the man because he seem to be a performing prime minister he seem to be somebody who's committed dedicated to the welfare of the country and so people are appreciating that so i mean <laughs> let's look things let's look at things in the right perspective and one one more comment yes. i would make you know i just saw the 14% uh for the kejriwal ji and the nitish kumar ji yes and when it came to the prime minister's choice they were 4% 3% much much below rahul gandhi now two factors have come yes while nitish kumar ji has a victory very recently and secondly he is seen to be performing in his own state also so there is there is a element of uh, 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 you know logic and rationality why is mr kejriwal at 14% simply because by abusing the prime minister he has been becoming the media's allow me to finish rajdeep right, allow me to yes. finish he has become the uh, media's favorite mm -hmm. i last counted the 107th allegation he had made against prime minister now in his own state in comparison to nitish kumar's 87% popularity he's 33% yet we are putting him together with nitish kumar i mean i think that's okay we we'll, we'll, just yeah. a minute I, i am going strictly by the numbers initially yeah, i know that we, we can discuss in a moment whether those numbers are justified or not but these are the numbers that our poll is showing tom badakan 6 months ago rahul gandhi was emerging much stronger than he is today it appears he's even your polls are not i have gone by the, the numbers no, i have said at the very clearly at the, at the top that narendra modi is by far the preferred choice no, for prime minister no no you just taking something out of yes. the entire context i am asking you every 6 months you do this poll yes and you give a judgment as a newspaper as a as a tv channel this is what is the mood of the nation do you yes. believe in what you say or Absolutely. you do not believe now if you do believe then this question which you are putting uh, whether it's the silent majority not a, i mean what a frivolous question and what a frivolous argument let me tell you something so often have we seen somebody who's on the losing side will say look this is not a sufficient number for any pollster to really predict the person on the winning side will always always welcome it point is you have been doing this exercise for 6 years yes. or for for 15 years every 6 months yes i mean i need your conviction on this uh, my conviction do you have your conviction going, or you don't i am going by the numbers i am now trying to analyze what those numbers mean okay yogendra yadav to some extent do those numbers as you said at the start mean that there is as you said no alternative to mr modi but importantly do they also reflect the fact that perhaps there is still a positive fall out of the 2014 verdict that mr modi benefits from as you said for the first 2 3 years a prime minister is still seen as someone who inspires a sense of hope is the disillusionment that you talk about more in your hope rather than the reality on the ground Uh, Rajdeep, uh, first of all, India Today poll has been one of the most credible polls in the country over the years. Mm -hmm. And as a politician, uh, I would look at this poll very seriously, and I would worry if it doesn't go in my favour. Mm -hmm. uh, and as for silent majority, I think uh, Sudhan Chaturvedi has a point there, which it's is done, to say opinion polls are actually meant to capture precisely the silent majority. That's the whole point of an opinion poll. Uh, yes. unless uh, somebody is doing a very silly kind of opinion poll where you go and meet only the voluble people on the corner, street corners mm -hmm. uh, but i think there's something else at play here which is uh, there is a subterranean sentiment i know i'm unhappy with you i'm mm. beginning to have doubts but i don't see anyone around i'm un more unhappy with other people mm. so if you come and ask me who's your preferred choice i still name you this is probably what's happening which cannot be captured by figures figures yes. do tell us something which is that if people were to be asked today they still would rather continue with 2014 legacy than depart from that 
and for that I really hold the opposition to Mr. Modi responsible because uh, the, the so-called opposition in our country actually has not offered anything like a vision, anything like a hope, anything like a coherent set of policies and programs. And if that does not happen, which were only associated with private schools, are what being are implemented in government. No, 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 have you come here and to discuss? Mohalla uh, clinics, people are getting Delhi. good treatment. I mean, this is no, no, no. treatment. Rajdi, this is unfair. So, okay. I mean, no, no, are, no, no, I asked him a question huh? about Mr. But, Kejriwal's but popularity no in Delhi. It's a manifesto of the Ahmadi party. He says that the, he what? says the silent voter remains with the Ahmadi party. Okay, fine. You believe that there is now, a clear yeah. positive vote for Narendra Modi and the BJP. These are alternative perspectives. Let me tell you something more. Yes. Your poll says from 55%, his popularity has declined to 33%. Yes. And yet there is no cause of worry. When an Ahmadi party gives a poll, an uh, opinion poll, before any election, then it is the most credible expression of the people. But when you give a poll, it, it is not to be believed. I have no qualms of that. The issue is mm -hmm. here, what is pertinent? I just heard Mr. Tom Watkin talking. From his popularity of 22%, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has come down to 13%. Issue is why? I thought we'll, we'll debate substantive issues. You tell me very yeah. quickly why you think so. One sim line. In one line, why do you think Rahul Gandhi's simple, popularity has declined? Simple is that he is not in sync with the aspirations of this nation. He has been making all noises. And in six months you've seen yeah, that change yeah, from yeah, February yeah, to today? Yeah, I'll tell you why. Continuously, what, there is a decline. Not In February also there was a decline. What is happening is, continuously, he is articulating himself on issues contrary to what the people of this country believe in. And that is the undoing. He has been catering, he has been pandering to... You've made uh, your point, you've made your point, you believe he's not reflecting the aspirations. Do you, in hindsight, see a dramatic change in your covers? From Ra Rahul Gandhi on the cover, you now have Narendra Modi no, back on the cover, no, Raj Chengapa. Which, which comes to the point of this in terms of the Tina factor that everybody said, there is no alternative. I, partly that is operating, but let us give credit where it is due. Mr. Modi in the last six months has done several things that has kicked his popularity, whether it is a, a, a very good budget that mm -hmm. focused on, uh, kept the balance, fiscal deficit, but was anti, I mean, uh, pro-farmer, pro-poor, mm -hmm. put aside the largest sums of money in terms of uh, infrastructure to get jobs, and if you looked at it in terms of the you know, opposition unity, he was able to get the GST through. Right. I mean, these are significant so things. So you believe that, that there is significant growth. positives in the last six months, that which the Prime is, Minister yes. can claim, and that has given him this bounce that back. Is so let's turn to the next big numbers on the India Today Mood of the Nation poll, because one of the questions that we asked is, who would be an alternative to Narendra Modi if you had... It's completely at variance with what you are just stating. Completely at variance. He is the number Allah, one Allah, challenger Allah, Allah, of the Mahakal Pandan. You are, you are not looking at things holistically. The people's opinion is 31 believe that it is the Congress and not the uh, Mahagat Bandhan. Yes. Only, only 24 are there for Among the Among those who just, are the just, supporters just, of the Mahagat Bandhan. Yes. Secondly, you must understand the political reality also, which is that a political discard in his own state does not become a national leader. No, it doesn't happen this way. Anybody who has emerged from the state has been a strong, strong man of the state, enjoying the confidence of the state when he comes to the center. Now, but I'll come to, the, the, to this later. One, one, one very important observation I want to make. Rajdeep, you've heard the entire discourse of all the, mm -hmm. the Congress, everybody. They are still in a very old mindset. The paradigm has shifted. They're all still looking at uh, the people's aspiration from the point of view of caste. Minority vote. You just heard Mr. Watkins. Yes, yes. No, okay. no, Dalit have uh, deserted. So, the, the, today's politics is the politics of hope. It's oh. not the politics exactly. that... Allow me to finish. I agree. Allow me to hope, finish. Hope, aspiration. Sir, allow me to finish. And what is Let's aspiration? Be Let's be decent. Jumla. Let's be decent. Jumla. Let's be that, decent. No, I'm no, decent. No, I'm no, talking no, about Jumla. I, I, I don't are you to saying 50% of the voters who want allow Narendra Modi as Prime Rajiv. Minister are being influenced by Jumla? Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You're saying it's all about Jumla. Absolutely. Just a yeah. minute. I don't, I, just a minute. Just a minute. Because the two of you will, will be polarized. I go to Yogendra Yadav whenever... Things yeah, get polarized I in the studio. Not even no, no, you have. You, you have, made your point. Even no, no, you said there is a paradigm shift and this is about What hope. is politics of hope? You have to understand what is politics of hope. Dream. There is a, there is a negative politics which everybody has been practicing here. Dream yes. Which is, which is, 
Dalit, dream merchants, sir, sell no, dreams and, sir, sell it and ask this country is inflation. When you talk, I don't talk. Market is up. I mean, don't make it a fish one market. Minute, one minute. Yeah. Don't make it a fish market. Gentlemen, I want you to just relax. Yes. Yogendra Yadav, is there some to a hell today? You are doing well. Yeah. I am not even uh, extrapolating the 2019. Yes. As we stand today, again I want to emphasize what is the reason of a decline in the popularity of the principal opposition party and the increase of popularity of the BJP. These are the two relevant factors which emerge out of this uh, survey of yours. Positive steps taken by the government on all fronts have met with approval of people. In spite of the entire propaganda about this and that and that and that, people have looked at the developmental issues, people have looked at the governmental issues. They have seen there is governance on the ground. Secondly, why has the popularity of the principal political party come down? You saw Rahul Gandhi coming down from the 23% to 13%. You saw the decline in numbers. You saw a decline overall. Why? The, fa the, the reason is it is negative politics. Okay, it's it's it's. I, I just want immediate, you know, because then my worry is politicians go into sermons once they start. But yes, you've said negative politics of the Congress. You believe versus what you are saying is the positive agenda of the BJP. Such in pilot, it appears the recovery is still not there. I think you make an interesting point. The only worry for you, as you keep smiling, Sudanshu, is that state elections particularly Uttar Pradesh coming next year. Ashutosh may have a point. You cannot repeat, you will find it tough to repeat UP 2014 in a state election as well as in a general election. Is there any worrying signal for you or is it don't worry, be happy? Yogendra Yadav says you are grinning like a Cheshire cat today. You seem <laughs> to be the cat who has licked the cream. Rajiv, uh, Rajiv, should I not be happy? You should be happy. I should be but happy. I have been complacent. No, no, allow me. We are discussing the outcome of your polls. Yes. We are not uh, soothsayers saying this will happen and that will happen. We are saying, your polls are saying this is what has happened today. Yes. We are discussing that. Instead of discussing that, everybody wants to discuss something uh, according to their perception. Now, two, two facts I want to bring out. Yes. The popularity of Mr. Kejriwal goes down from 55 to 33. It doesn't matter. In Delhi. The, in Delhi, he, naturally, he's yes. here in yes, Delhi. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just, glad that he thinks Arvind Kejriwal is a challenger in sir, 2009. I'm very glad that sir, you have already you given, given yes, a quickly, quickly, quickly. I, I can can all of you keep your point short? I don't short. intervene. I don't yes. intervene. Hmm. Secondly, the popularity of Rahul Gandhi goes down uh, from 23 to 13 percent. Yet, we are all happy. We are all uh, thinking uh, that we are complacent, that we are losing. I mean, I am amazed. Either they say, look, it's all humbug. We don't believe in this, we don't participate in this, we reject it. They are all not rejecting it, yet want to make perverse uh, interpretations. I just want to make one thing clear. You have just seen the vote share going up. Even in, uh, in 2014, it was only 38.5, It's gone going to 40. up to 40%. There is a resurgence. Why is the resurgence? We are not even debating that. I want you to debate why is the resurgence. You give me one line. I, what is the resurgence? Again, one line. All, all round development, all issues of development have been addressed and people are feeling the... Uh, you believe across, across, the across the country, the, rural that India, that, in parts I, of I the don't country. have to believe. Your service says okay. that. Such in pilot, such in pilot, therefore, therefore, and there is a point, at the midterm stage you... ...or more electorally formidable. Uh, Rajiv, there is of course a huge opportunity and opportunity lies not so much in the things that we discuss in the newspapers, not so much on the question of social margins, minorities, nationalism and uh, intolerance and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. The real big opportunity for opposition, for those who, are, uh, those who want to see an alternative to Mr. Modi, lies in widespread rural distress right now and deep resentment and unease among ordinary people. They don't know who to vent it against. And more importantly, they do not know who to uh, direct it towards. Mm -hmm. But that, to my mind, is the biggest thing that's going to shape our politics in the next two or three years. Uh, and I think Sachin may have a fair point uh, that we should look at these figures not six months from now, but a year from now, after we've had the UP election result which would in a sense determine the political momentum. Uh, but I would also be curious, maybe we'll get to see that in the India Today uh, details, which states is the BJP improving at all? Because I thought it had almost reached the peak in almost every single state from where it can only possibly go down. Right. So I would be curious, uh, so would be everyone else. 
But let's remember, as Sudhanshu Trivedi said, as Sudhanshu Mittal said, we are looking at opinion poll figures. We are not looking at the final outcome of an election. Broadly speaking, it indicates that the ruling party has continued its momentum in the third year, beginning of the third year, and that opposition is yet to come up with an alternative which is credible, which is attractive. That's a big message uh, which is reinforced by this poll. And let's take this message as real. I mean, there's no point in quarreling with figures, which we normally like to. Right. But this is a big message, which is an important message, much better than the drawing room gossip or the newsroom gossip. And I think that's a message we need to discuss. Why is it that Mr. Modi continues to have that momentum, despite that's, that's the way exactly, minorities have been treated, that's exactly the way what way I want to focus on. have been treated, the way rural distress is there. That's exactly it. There is something. You know, there is, there is the perception out there that there are some issues that the government has to deal with, agrarian distress being a big one, Dalit anger being another issue. But yet at the moment, Mr. Modi's personal popularity and the NDS popularity is high.